Okay, so I have been sick for the last couple of weeks, but that's besides the point. I've been working on this project for about a year or two. I don't know how many years, because I've been off and on working on it, because, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to get into doing a big project, but <coughs> I made this mansion. <laughs> And you'll see you got the I got these pillars here to the entrance and then I got the f water fountain and this mansion of course in the front of it there's nothing around it on the grass or anything I haven't done anything with that yet but I made this fountain right here I don't know well I don't know water fountain fountain I don't know what you want to call this statue mom I don't know but yeah, so here's the front of it, and you go up these stairs, actually I'll show you the, what the top of it looks like, because how big it is actually, before anything. Like I said, I am sick. This is literally how huge it is. It is massive. Yeah, so this is per, uh, one of the biggest projects I worked on uh, over the my work creative world I got here but yeah let's just go inside of it and see what, see what happens. let's just check out the inside of it okay so this main area I made I wanted it to be a little bit symmetrical <laughs> on both sides. I am off on some things, I know. It's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close, especially for the first ginormous building I did. Yeah. So this is the first area I built. At least I'm pretty sure I Appreciate sure it's the first area I built. But, um, I just, and actually it was the first and last, because I didn't finish the roof, nor like the chandelier, uh, till the end. But I did made like the staircase in the area. But I got two pianos over here, because I said, why not? I, d I wanted to make one piano, but then the other side seemed empty, and I didn't know what to fill it with, so we got two pianos now but <laughs> for no reason maybe some cuts in here because like i said i am really sick and i'm coughing my head off but besides that we have this main area with the ginormous chandelier and i think we're just gonna go straight to it and go to to the bottom area over here. Now it isn't a big area, it is literally just a hangout spot. I don't know, I just decided to make this the, the hangout spot. We got this TV here with the couch. We got like a mini bar area. We got like this cool decor. We got a pool table. And we got a poker table. And yeah, so that's this main area. I'm gonna show you the secret areas to this place um, in another video. But right now, this is, I'm just gonna show you the main areas. Because yes, there are secrets in this place, believe it or not. Anywho, you go up here into the top floor and you go into the library slash workout air not workout like work study I don't know library <laughs> computer area over here we got the books big tables we got um, the main area that is a loud noise I, 
I think it's the sound of conduit, but I'm not sure. Because I do have one here, believe it or not. But we go up here. Under the balcony. And we go into this. And here is the office. We got books. We got both sides. We got armor next to the door. We got the ginormous desk with the chair. Got some stuff underneath of it. And we got this ginormous fish tank. Which you can see through the other side a little bit. But basically, it's not only a fish tank. But it's a window to the outdoor-ish area. That's in the back. Which I'll show you in a little bit. To the right, I'm going to show you first. <coughs> now, if we go this way, and we go up here, we could go out onto the upper balcony area to on this side, which is pretty great. Literally nothing else out here. But, we go into this hallway. Oh, some solar panels on the top of this place. So, in this hallway, some of the lights, when it's day, they'll turn completely on, and when it's night, it, you know, it'll shut off. But this is the main living quarters. Now, there are some areas where you might see stuff like that, where it shouldn't be, or anything like that. Only because when you allow people to look through this place, some t or even while well, building and going through it might accidentally break some some stuff but we'll work all the way down going forward through this hallway this is the main bedroom master bedroom it has tv area i don't know why that torch is there main tv area it has a desk some chess it has the bed and it has a light switch to turn off and on the lights right here it also has if you go through these doors a walk-in closet which you can see and there's the other entrance exit or entrance to the walk-in closet and if you go through this door this is the bathroom it has a ginormous shower because you know like why wouldn't you want a ginormous shower <laughs> right sink bathroom and a little window looking outward <laughs> but yeah that's the master bedroom if you exit the master bedroom and go to the right this is just another room Probably for the kids, most likely. These are four, so. I have no idea why there's heads there. I don't know why. But there are heads there. <laughs> but you go through this room. Another uh, room. There's a switch somewhere. Don't know. I think it's this one. That one, there we go. That switch turns on the lights. There's also a switch in there. So that's that room. This is a storage closet area. I thought I had a light in here somewhere. I don't know where. I'll just put down some light real quick. And there's a light, there we go. So this is the, like, I was gonna say janitor's closet, but basically is like that. It's just the cleanup room for like a maid or whatever. Because if you have a big mansion, you know they're gonna be having some maids and stuff. I believe this is the bathroom, yep. So this is like the kids' bathroom that they share. shower 
forgot that that could happen, but yeah. So that's the bathroom. And you go down here. And so say like the oldest, it would go from oldest to youngest. So this would be like the youngest kid's room. Oh, it was that one, okay. So this longest kid's room. You can see not much going on. Like you said, they're all bedrooms. <laughs> Actually, I'll leave that light on. And you go through here. This is also another young kid's room. If I can find the light switch, there we go. And yeah. Nothing much, because it's a living quarter area, and that's what um, two areas are, so it's not too exciting. Like, down here. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, why did it go from white to blue? In this mansion, I like to make each area a different style. So, in there and in the hallways, you could see our, like, cobblestone. So, I was sort of going for, like, a castle-esque feel down here I was like more modern more blue and you go down here and this is just a spiraling scare staircase and down here you could either go that way or you could go this way if we go this way first this is the hangout area for the for the guests so this is the guest quarters and then it goes down and goes to the lower balcony, like overhang, I don't know what you want to call it, area. Down here, that leads outside. And then the TV area, bathroom area. You know, pretty standard, just bland stuff. Okay, so if we go the other way. Oh yeah, you can see in there, that's just a storage area. But if you go in the other way, you'll see, like, through here, is the guest living quarters. And we'll make our way around. And through here, you'll see, is the storage area that we showed before. Our cleaning closet, I don't know what you want to call it. And then we go through here, it's just another room. These are more modern-esque rooms. As you can tell, you know, pretty bland. It's just only supposed to be for guests that, don't, that aren't staying that long. And then this is the bathroom, with their shower and everything. And through here. This is their, uh, another living area. Another living area. And then... This, this is a little shortcut from the, from the guest quarters to the, I believe, the kitchen, it looks like. But I'll show you the kitchen later. Right now. I did skip this right here, and this right here is the garden. See, it's just a little garden out on the little hangover. Yeah, you just walk around. And just supposed to be for, nice for like guests and stuff. But if we go back up, see that area leads down to uh, somewhere else that I'm going to show you that, that we could get there a different ways. So there's multiple paths you could take through this. I went the wrong way. And I want to show you the other way to get there. So just going there now. Actually, why am I doing this? Just fly. <laughs> So, if you go down here, we could get to that same area by also taking, going down here.
now this is just a uh, basic area, but like as you see, here's the other area for it. And going into here, we have the main dining room table area. You know, big chandelier, big table that could have hold a lot of guests, and of course the parents and family. To the right is the kitchen. Excuse me. Where we'd have like recipes, where we would cook. And as you said, like I showed you earlier, this area goes back to the guest area. You know, if any guests want like breakfast in bed, anything like that. Of course, this is the giant freezer. And this area right here is also just a little tunnel area system for the uh, servants to go and serve the people quicker. But that's the dining room area. That'd be over here, this small room right here is a bathroom, nothing much. You notice the red room earlier. Well, I can show you that right now. This ginormous red room area is actually a movie theater. I hope you guys could hear me. I had my head, my microphone up, but this is the movie theater. Giant cinema. That's basically all it is. And it leads to the other side, but I'm going to go over here and... Because there's another way to get to over there. Through here. And I'll show you that area in a bit, but through here, you could go and see. It's another area to leave. Little movie area. And I don't want to show you guys that quite yet, because I'm not, uh, I haven't gotten, um, because there's the other ways to get there. So I don't want to show you guys that quite yet. But you go through here, and here is the outdoor pool. The outdoor pool. It's pretty cool. And you, I'll show you. I'll tell you, tell you guys what that is up there in a bit. But this is the outdoor pool, and if you go around the pool, you go through here. It's the dining room area. So you could immediately go through the dining room to there to the kitchen, all of it. But what people normally miss is going through here is that they go sooner, and we got your you got your own basketball court. Yeah, your own basketball court with, with uh, storage rooms and bathroom. And if you go up these stairs, you also got your own workout area. So you could do yoga, you could do rock climbing, you could do weightlifting, you could do uh, parkour on this little scaffolding thing. You know, whatever you really want to do, you could do. And go through here. Here's like the boys area. You see, you got the big uh, dressing, clothes changing area with storage and bathrooms. On this side. And then you go over here. It's supposed to be a mirror, but of course you can't do mirrors in Minecraft. But you go through here, and through here is the sauna room. They got their own sauna going. And then you go through here, and here's another changing room area, I guess you could say. I don't know. Just another bathroom, changing room area, shower, uh, storage, clothes, stuff like that. And if you get out of here, which 
we will be in a minute. Okay, since we're out here, I'll show you what it looks like. For the top, if you see, you can see. And then above the swimming pool is a running track. And from earlier, like I showed you, is the office. And then through here is the library. Now, to the left of the, once you walk in, you could go down here. And like you said, it's the same main area like I showed you before. But if we go back, that that's another room, but I wanna show you it through the top first. Actually, I probably should have showed you through the top and then leave through the bottom, but that's fine. Now, if we go over here, this leads out to the bottom balcony area, bottom balcony area, as you can see, nothing much out there. And through here is like the uh, workers area. They have a little meeting area where they get uh, told what they need to do for the day. You go through here. They got a storage area here. A big storage area where they have all their stuff. You go down here. This is the, um, they got a mini kitchen. They got like a hangout area for when they're off duty. And then we got little rooms for one to two people, or bathroom, more rooms, all the same, just a small room that would be probably like college dorm room size, another bathroom, another room, and then up here is the storage area. They got another little uh, cooking area, but it, this is just all storage. More storage. And another bathroom. And then, of course, out here leads back down to the main area. Now, if we go back, we go up and set it down which up is right here. It's the newest area I worked on. And I, I'm telling you, like, this mansion has been through, like, two to three updates. And so this is the newest. And I wanted to use the blocks from the new update from the nether. And we got the right side plus the left side. And so yeah, I wanted to use the nether update area to make the to make these. You see over here we got a arcade area. Got the punching bags, darts, dance game, and a little table. Out here is the top balcony. And down here is a bowling area where we have like a mini bar. I don't know if you want to call it mini bar. Just space where you can sit and play uh, bowling. So that's pretty cool. I wanted to use, like you said, all the blocks on the new update. Okay, going through here, we got the main eating area for guests, for big parties, 
and over here and through this area is the disco area we got the disco uh, dance floor here we got the table we got the stage and I wanted it to make it like a colorful and the tops were the like stars almost I don't know and then of course the uh, DJ would sit up here and that's supposed to be like a giant TV but I didn't know what else to put for it but yeah that's the dance disco area go out of there if we go all the way to the back area just the room that I didn't show you earlier this is the ballroom and it is huge <laughs> not gonna lie took a while for me to build but this is the ballroom with your main stage sitting area and we got the bathrooms over here girls and then boys are on well, the other side over here But yeah, that's the main ballroom area. It is nighttime, just a minute. That's a little better. Sunrise. And then, like I said, it, it leads over here to the swimming pool area. And goes up. Goes up to the track area which is over here as you can see but that's it for the main areas of this place now I will be showing you guys the um, secret areas in another video like I said but yeah that's the main areas for this place If I can leave. <laughs> so that is the ginormous mansion that I made. I mean, I finished recently. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully showing you guys the secrets of this place. So just wait for that. Bye.